One reason it may be so hard to find an apartment in Boston, college students. I was really lucky I had two friends who were already living off campus and they're like, hey, do you wanna be our third roommate? 160,000 college and grad students go to school in Boston. 42% of them live off campus in rentals in Boston and surrounding areas. I was looking in Cambridge, Alston. The majority of students live in these four neighborhoods. The city says it puts significant pressure on those rental markets. Near Copley is really nice, but it's super expensive, so I couldn't live there. Uh, downtown, literally anywhere, basically. Greater Boston has more than 50 colleges and universities, and most of them don't have enough housing. We have a housing crisis. I think it's part of the institution's responsibility to provide housing for their students. If they don't provide on-campus housing, that pushes the stresses on the rental market. It forces a competition between families and uh, adults, working adults, who are trying to find housing. Definitely was a long, hard process competing with all the other people looking for apartments and such a housing apartment shortage right now. And students often have an advantage, their parents' money. It's not necessarily always, you know, the student themselves paying, so there can be some, like, deeper pockets behind a lot of these students. And they take up those multi-bedroom family-sized units because collectively they can pay higher rent. You know, they don't have to pay the whole boat, they only have to pay a third of the room. They put tremendous pressure, upward pressure, on rents, which has essentially made the city unaffordable. Grad school enrollment in Boston is up more than 25% over the past decade. Only about 10% of those grad students live on campus. And in cities around Boston, some schools don't even offer graduate housing. Masters uh, students, they are not allowed to stay on campus, so we had to search for off campus. And if schools built more housing, experts say rents in popular student neighborhoods would stabilize or decline. It's very hard to find a neighborhood where you can put in a large-scale residence hall without getting tremendous resistance. Not in my backyard, NIMBY. But you're not alone, Greater Boston. Take it from this visiting student from Williamsburg, Virginia. We have to compete with the regular citizens that are either choosing to retire off campus or move back in for whatever reason, and they don't like the college students. So it's been pretty hard even as a college student from far away from here.